Australian doctors and their patients are joining a chorus of urgent calls for action over the rising antibiotic resistance crisis. One woman has spent an incredible 50 years on the life-saving drugs to keep a common infection at bay. Saved by antibiotics, Marilyn Clark Murphy owes her life to the thousands she's taken continuously for 50 years. I'm incredibly grateful and that I, it's not a solution, prophylactic doses, but um, it kept me going. The ongoing therapy prevented her chronic urinary tract infection from flaring. Then the pills stopped working. I can remember um, sitting on the toilet weeping because I was in so much pain. While Marilyn has found an alternative drug that works, growing numbers of UTI sufferers don't respond to standard treatments. Those suffering a myriad of everyday issues like skin and chest infections are also running out of options. If we don't take any action now, by 2050, there will be more deaths from antimicrobial resistance than cancer deaths alone. A new report published in The Lancet estimates 39 million people will die from antibiotic resistant infections in the next 25 years. This is an impending crisis. A crisis attributed to the overprescribing of antibiotics. When it comes to urinary tract infections, though, there's a theory that underprescribing is fueling the problem. We've gone to shorter and shorter courses, which perversely may have actually contributed to some of this problem. In some patients, bacteria lingers in the bladder walls and flares up. The chronic condition can lead to kidney infections, even blood poisoning. It can result in. Um, admission to hospital and severe sepsis, people do die of sepsis. Each year, more than 5,000 Australian deaths are associated with antibiotic resistance. This week, the United Nations General Assembly met in New York seeking urgent global cooperation to tackle this silent epidemic. We really need to press on governments to change the way in which they fund this in, these innovative therapies. So many lives depend on it. Karina Cavallo, 7 News.